What's up, guys? Purpose here bringing a review and an unboxing of the UR Power. Our power, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but you guys can bear with me. So let's just say UR Power um, MH501 water humidifier. This is a cool mist version of a humidifier, and let's get to it. So, this is the box it came in right here. It's very, just a plain old box. Um, it came with the user manual and a tiny little brush right here. It also came with this here. I think this is a water filter or something like that. This is the area that holds the water. It's not that light, not that heavy. It feels very nice in the hand. It feels well built. Just a look right below there. See what it looks like. Come to the back. And this here is the base. Right here, so it has three operation modes. You got the low, the medium, and the high. There's an on and off notification there. So let me just turn it right on the bottom. So it looks like this is a filter right here, probably a dust filter. And this is a 110 to 240 volts. So you can think you can use it anywhere in the world, which is nice. That's the only reason I got it, but the other versions were always 110 volts. And let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, the instruction said to open this up. Well, it said to turn this over and take out the styrofoam cube. I didn't see any styrofoam cubes, so I guess in case your humidifier came with it, then it's supposed to be somewhere around here. You just take that out. After that, you just open this up. This is where you put the water right here. So I'll just go fill it up and come back. Okay, so I have the water tank filled up. So you just have the, the white thing there. That's the water filter. So you just have it facing upward like this. Then you put the water tank over it. After you're finished everything, it should look like this. Um, when you first put it on, you will hear some water dripping down into the chamber right here. This is completely normal, don't feel as something is wrong. And after that, it will stop for a while because the chamber is filled. So as soon as, as fast as it's processing the water and sending it out, this will keep going down into the chamber. So let me go give it a try and let you guys know. So there you have it. So let me just show you how it operates. So I'll just put on the power just heard that beep there so that means everything is good it's getting power so to turn it on what you need to do this is sort of touch sensitive so you just need to touch where you see the on and off right there the on and off on slash off button so you just touch it like this and it comes on and it automatically go to the low settings so as you can see it's coming out there And to change it from low to medium, you do the same by touching the on and off button. Now it went to the medium. And if you touch it again, it just go to high. And when you touch it again, it'll just go off. So I'll just show you how much mist um, each sentence is putting out. So let me just try it low. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, this is low. So let's try medium now. This is medium. And let's try on high. Sorry, I took it off. Low, medium, high. This is high. High has a lot coming out though. So there you have it. This humidifier is about 50 bucks on Amazon. Will I recommend it? Yes, I will recommend it. Um, they claim to last 14 to 17 hours and this seems to be true because I left it on about 10 o'clock the night before bed and woke up the next day and took it off about 8 o'clock I think. And there was a good bit of water left as seen in this picture right here. 
so that means the working time is is very good so if it was on high then it, would, it definitely would have been lower but it's lasting the full night so you should be good and I did not pull it back when I was doing the review so I just left it and continue using it for the night and that's it so there you have it if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below I'll answer them as soon as possible thank you very much for watching peace out